Allah Azza wa Jal. You know? Um, but now talking about paradise a little bit, you know, the, the thing that personally fascinates me about paradise is just one thing. I mean, there's so many descriptions of Jannah in the Quran, right? There's rivers flowing and cups being offered. I used to wonder, why are cups being offered? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And Allah says, مَوْضُوعَ Cups that are placed. Like, what's the point of that? You ever throw a barbecue? You ever go to somebody's backyard and they're throwing a barbecue and they buy those cups from like Walmart and Costco and they're serving drinks or whatever? Mm -hmm. Right? That's a little, you know, homely party. You have to go pour your own drinks. You ever go to an expensive restaurant? Like a really elite restaurant, you gotta pay 50 bucks just to sit down? What, what do you see on the table before you even get there? Cups. This is 1400 years ago, Allah, know how we, Allah knows how we think. Mm -hmm. Allah says water flowing, rivers flowing. You ever been to the lobby of a very expensive hotel? Mm. What do they have? You ever been to the CEO's office of a corporate executive, top floor in New York City? What do they have? Artificial waterfall. Same thing Allah described. You ever seen a commercial where they take you to go take a vacation in the Bahamas or take a vacation in, you know, Hawaii or something? Escape to paradise, it says. What do they show you? A palm tree, water, drinks, relaxation. This yeah. is in the Quran, the verbatim word of God. This is, well, these are the pictures they show you on TV commercials, right? Yeah. What is Allah describing? In this, is what, but what, what, this is what Allah is, the way Allah is. This is Allah, Allah describing water flowing, trees, fruit, drinks. People reclining and relaxing, enjoying each other's company. And you're looking at that and going, wow, these guys made a commercial about escape to paradise. And it's like they read the Quran and made that. Because Allah knows who He's talking to, He knows what we want. He knows what we want. Now look at this, I don't even care about what religion you are. Everyone as they get, especially men and even women, as they get older and older, you know what, there's one thing in our head? We can't, it's programmed, we can't even get rid of it is the love of a beautiful house. You go through a nice neighborhood, what are you going to do? Wow, that's nice. Yes. Look at that yard, oh my God. Oh my God, did you see that one? People can't help themselves. I don't care what religion, what background you're from. Everybody has desires to save up and have a stable place to live. They don't want to live on rent, they want to own a place. They want to have a nice house, and they want it just the way they like it. What does Allah offer in paradise? <laughs> it's incredible. He says, I'll give you a house. And it'll have... What's the most expensive real estate in the world? Beachfront property. Manhattan is one of the most expensive cities in the world. What's the most expensive part of Manhattan? Anything that looks over to the water. Yes. And the higher up, the higher up, the more expensive. And Allah puts houses on top of mountains, mansions. They overlook the entire garden. They overlook the waterfall. These are things that Allah put inside our psyche. He wants us to desire these things in this world. So that when he talks about these much, the much superior version of that in the next world, that we're truly motivated. We say, if this mansion can exist here, oh my God, what does Allah have for me there? If this beautiful vacation spot, the oceans in California, the, the beaches in California, the canyons in Arizona, you know, the waterfalls in Arkansas, if that can exist here, what does Allah have for me in, in the Akhirah? What, is he, what, what amazing thing is He going to give me? You know? Amazing, amazing. We, we're gonna, um, I'm getting very excited. I love talking about Jannah, Paradise. We're going to talk some more and we promise to answer some questions of yours here on The Dean Show. Don't go nowhere.